Redemption Courtyard in Morningwood? Drop me there, and you can keep the bike, because I look after my people. Look after your people? Man, I know when the ride is hot. If this is your bike, then I'm the fucking Pope, dawg. All right, homie, it's been an education, dawg. Look, keep on making the world a better place, you hear me? Yeah, the public needs to know. The fans deserve answers. Shit, not if the question is how low is Miranda Collins' muff hanging or if she getting banged out by some second-rate director. They need to know everything, from crow's feet to camel toes. Hey, 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 come by the manor next week. We'll continue the search for the truth. Look, don't wait around for me, homie. Oh, I'm waiting for you, homie. Jimmy! Driving? Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know, ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. I mean, I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too, this kid. Uh, with, I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. Uh, you know? Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, but it's not by choice. You know, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. 
Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. Th this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. Hey, holla at me, y'all. Peace. Crazy motherfucker Lamar hasn't got you killed yet? No, not yet. He must be slacking. He's always slacking. He's a fool, bro. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway, talking of fools, what would you say if I told you some fools I knew were running a little racing competition? And as luck would have it, they got this really beautiful silver medal with your name on it. I say go fuck yourself. Bronze medal then? <laughs> Funny motherfucker. 